Pangit daw! OP daw! Eh bakit yung A-series ng Samsung is the best-selling Android phone in the world last year? Hi guys, my name is John and this is the Samsung Galaxy A55. So for people who don't know, the Samsung Galaxy A54, which this is replacing, was the best-selling Android phone for the mid-range category last year. Not in the Philippines, in the entire world. So marami nagsasabi na OP siya, pero... Ang ganda naman ng benta. So I guess after what I've experienced with this for about a day or two, I think this will also be selling very well in the Philippines. And today, you will see why. I think one of the reasons why the A-series of phones sells so well is that it looks and feels like the flagship S-series of Samsung. So kung wala kang budget para bumili ng Samsung Galaxy S34, ito yung bibilin mo. Pag tinignan mo yung aluminum na gilid niya, Mukha siyang aluminum sides ng Galaxy S24. It's very well made, ang ganda ng chamfers, ang ganda ng pagkagawa ng aluminum, and it's available in three different colors. Madali lang siyang hawakan at gamitin kasi flat yung front and back niya, at may glass protection din siya para pag nahulog mo, hindi agad magsha-shatter yung display. Katulad ng flagship S24, the Galaxy A55 5G also has IP resistance pero IP57 lang. Can withstand quick trips to the pool, basta wag mo lang siya iiwan doon or wag mong gagamitin pang swimming, okay siya, walang problem. So totoo lang, no, ang hirap i-convey sa camera kung gaano kaganda tignan tong A55 sa kamay. Talagang feeling mo talaga flagship siya. Kahit mid-range lang yung presyo na binabayaran mo, you really feel that you're getting a flagship phone uh, pagdating sa build quality, pagdating sa itsura, pagdating sa overall construction. There really is something about Samsung phones and how they're built that cannot be matched by other manufacturers. One thing din na inahanap ng tao sa Samsung phone na I guess hindi ma-provide ng ibang manufacturers is the display. Ang ganda talaga ng mga display ng mga Samsung phones to the point na Samsung displays din ang gamit ng mga kalaban nila. So, for the A55, you are looking at a 6.6 inch a Super AMOLED display with 120 Hz refresh rates and HDR10+. So, maliwanag yung display. Actually, maganda yung quality ng AMOLED display na tong particular phone na to because again, it is a Samsung phone. Ganda ng blacks, ang ganda ng saturation ng colors. Very punchy yung colors mo pag nanonood ka, which makes it a joy to watch movies and clips and your favorite K-pop stars on this particular phone. So if you're thinking about moving to the A55 from the A54 just because of the cameras, maybe hold off on upgrading kasi yung camera, yung actual na camera sensors niya, pareho lang dun sa A54. So you're looking at a 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. Siguro yung main feature talaga na gustong gusto ko dito, no? yung upgrade niya from the A54, is in the software, which is the object eraser. Kunwari, umaaura ka somewhere na maraming tao kasi patok siya, sumabog siya sa Facebook. Pero umaaura ka dun. Pinicturean ka ng asawa mo or ng boyfriend mo or whatever. Pero ang daming singit sa likod. So gusto mo silang tanggalin. So anong gagawin mo? So you go to object eraser, you just select the images or the people behind you that you, you want to remove. Tapos, press erase, tapos yun, boom, wala na sila. So, mag-isa ka na lang. So, there will be some image artifacts dun sa photos mo. May matitira pa rin kasi hindi siya perfect. But, pwedeng pwede na siya i-share sa Facebook kung if you really don't mind. Hindi naman siya masyadong obvious unless talagang i-zoom in mo siya or whatever. Yung isa pang feature na gusto ko talaga dito sa phone nito is yung single take feature. So, basically, parang kukuha ka ng 10 seconds worth of photo and video uh, na hindi mo na ginagalaw. Pipindutin mo lang single take and it'll take the photos and videos for you. Now, from those 10 seconds, pipili ka lang ng kung ano yung pinaka maganda na makukuha mo doon. Pero sometimes, it's not perfect. Medyo hit or miss siya, pero it's, it's software-based. Pero at least, may makukuha ka pa rin na magandang pwede mong gamitin sa Facebook mo from that. Siguro one of the reasons kung bakit sinasabi nilang OP at hindi maganda yung, yung Samsung Galaxy A series is yung decision kasi ng Samsung to use an Exynos processor. Now, naintindihan ko yung mga hinaing ng mga tao, especially for the people who use, use an Exynos-based uh, phone. Kasi nga, may, may tendency sila na uminit, uh, nag-overheat, at hindi rin maganda yung battery life nun. So this was the complaint for the previous generation of Exynos processors. Pero I think with at least for the short time that I've been using this phone, I think Samsung has finally fixed their problems with Exynos. So this phone has an Exynos 
1480 processor in it, 8 gig of RAM, and 256 gig of storage. Actually, naglaro kami ng Genshin Impact sa kanya. Uh, highest settings, so naka settings siya na high, 60 frames per second. We'll show you B-roll of this, uh, yung settings namin. We were playing uh, Genshin Impact. Wala kaming nakikitang lags or issues or overheating issues while we were playing. And we were playing for about 30 minutes siguro. Actually, ang ganda ng smoothness ng phone na to pagdating sa gaming. So, I think at this early point, I think that Samsung has managed to fix the problems with their Exynos processor. At least for uh, the performance part of it pagdating sa gaming. Pero syempre, hindi mo lang naman gagamitin sa gaming tong phone na to. Gagamitin mo to sa everyday use. The phone felt very fluid, uh, walang problem mag-switch ng, ng apps. Pag nagsiswitch kami from Facebook to, to Spotify, to Instagram, or whatever, wala akong nakikitang any kind of lags or any kind of issues. Siguro yung isang bagay lang na hindi talaga makapag-comment on, on the A55 5G is the battery. So, 5000 mAh battery, which is standard for uh, what you expect. Hindi ko alam kung gano'ng kalakas gumamit ng power itong uh, Exynos 1480 uh, kasi hindi pa gano'ng katagal sa akin yung telepono. So this is not a long-term review. This is basically just me having the phone for about two days talking to you about what's inside. Any modern smartphone nowadays can run for a full day without na may charge pa siya. Even if you're a heavy user, I expect that to be the same for this. So my personal opinion, no, one of the things I really think na ang reason kung bakit ang daming bumibili ng Samsung phone, or at least specifically the A-series, is because of the software. So Android 14, One UI software, yung software talaga ni Samsung parang industry standard na siya eh, sa at least for Android. Parang sobrang walang problem, sobrang daling gamitin, walang bloatware. Pag nag-install ka, pwede mong sabihin na hindi mo install yung apps. And honestly, itong experience ko na to is in a minority. Maraming, panoorin nyo lang yung mga Xiaomi videos ko. Ang daming ko reklamo about uh, Hyper OS and MIUI, whatever. Ito talaga walang issue eh. And in general, pagdating sa Samsung phones, wala kang naririnig ng hardware and software issue. Parang ako, at least personally, hindi ako nakakarinig ng ang daming reklamo sa boot loop, ang daming reklamo na hindi na nag-on yung phone, na nagdadasal yung mga tao pag nag update ng bagong software. Wala kang naririnig na ganun. And I think that is what people like with the Samsung Galaxy A series and what they will like with the Samsung Galaxy A55. And it's one thing na talagang minsan hindi pinapansin or hindi kinoconsider ng mga nagagalit sa, mga, sa Samsung phones is that how Samsung integrates their software and hardware, they cannot be beat. They are, they are at the top of their game. And honestly, kung bibili ka ng A-series, pang matagalan to eh, it gets four years of Android OS updates plus another year of security updates. So five years total of software updates. For, that's what I expect from a flagship phone. That is not what I expect from an A-series phone or a mid-range phone. May mga flagships nga na wala pang 5 years, 2 years lang yung software update nila, di ba? So, mapapaisip ka talaga. Actually, that's actually one of the reasons kung bakit talagang hinahanap ng tao ang Samsung. Kahit marami nagsasabi na ang mahal ng Samsung, OP or whatever, it's how Samsung integrates the software and the hardware together. That's what people want. Para siyang Toyota Vios. This is basically a Toyota Vios. Kasi sobrang, ang Toyota Vios, hindi siya ganun ka-flashy, hindi siya ganun kagara tignan. Pero it's reliable, it's, it's easy to use, and it will get you from point A to point B without any drama. So Samsung is selling the Galaxy A55 for 24,990 for the 8 gig, 256 gig variant. Wala nang ibang variant tong A55 sa Pilipinas. It's just the 8 gig and 256 gig. So, my chance ka pa actually na pababain yung presyo yun kasi Samsung is going to be doing a trade-in promo for your phones uh, where you, wherein you can get up to 5,000 pesos uh, knocked off the price of the A55 depending on the value of your phones. They, we will be putting the detail of the uh, trade-in promo down below so you can check it out once it launches. So that's it for me. My name is John. For the links of the trade-in and all of the freebies that you will be getting with the A55, if you buy one, it will be linked down below. So till next time, peace out.